Now we'll move on to a robotic application with Mar Marco Popovic. <coughs> Thanks, Todd. So my name is Marco Popovic, and I'm professor with uh, physics, robotics engineering, also affiliated with uh, biomedical engineering. Um, <coughs> so I'm also director of Popovic Labs. Uh, we recently moved from Olin Hall to 85 Presco Street, and everyone who is interested to visit us is welcome to, to, to see. Um, so, so type of research that we are doing, we are doing many things. Um, so work on artificial muscles, hydro muscles. I, I believe this is still maximal IP fee in the WBPI history. We have some. Okay. Uh, then variable stiffness bones, uh, variables, uh, prosthetic upper and lower limbs, uh, braces, exoskeletons. Um, by inspired robots, we like to build bipeds, quadrupeds, uh, birds, ornithopters. Um, also control biomechanics, balance locomotion. <coughs> also EEG and e EMG control, base control. Uh, so, but today I'll talk about uh, gyroscopic shoulder prosthesis for am arm amputees. And this is work with uh, my gra ex graduate student, uh, Mitch Miller. And uh, he won the first overall. Um, uh, award investing in ideas with impact i3 and this was a competition this year in April 2017 so it's very nice work and um, actually I was approached um, almost five years ago by uh, uh, an MIT professor Seth Teller he passed away two years ago and he asked me to build a prosthesis for shoulder that could he help actually his friend uh, she lost entire arm and she complains that he, after amputation, she had huge problem just with balance. Uh, so just normal walking, because you're missing this uh, mass on one side. And plus, uh, there is very important role of uh, arm during the walking. So it can help, you, um, it, uh, help you keep balance. <coughs> so I started thinking about this. And it was not uh, till, till Mitch joined my lab. And Mitch was actually working in Boeing. So I th I th he had some experience with the uh, gyroscopic devices. So we said, let's, let's try to build completely new things and that no one ever built. And this is to, to put this uh, control moment gyro inside the, the prosthesis. So we could try to mimic the, the arm function, the torques uh, generated by uh, a normal healthy arm uh, for, for folks uh, with the amputation. So basically we succeeded with that. And um, the way how this device works, there is uh, one uh, disc that is spinning with very high speed, and we could control the orientation of uh, that disc. And by doing so, we are also um, magnifying the, the torque, uh, which is then applied to, to this uh, shoulder region. So in, in smart way, if, if you're following uh, the sensor input with the IMU, inertial moment uh, you, uh, measure, measurement unit, you could actually quite nicely mimic the, the, the human uh, shoulder, the, the human arm uh, moments. And this technology was, is, is still used in satellites, satellite control, or also rocket control, you know, also for drones and, and, and et cetera. So we now bring to the health science and technology and put in, in you know, shoulder, prosthetic shoulder. So that's all. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.